What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Short video today on a two litre BKD low oil pressure. Don't worry, it's not my caddy. Let's have a little look and see what we've got in. So first of all, my caddy's out there, two litre BKD, no problems with the oil pressure, but after seeing this, I might be whipping the sump off. So we've got a Golf in today. It's a two litre BKD, slightly higher miles, and we've got no oil pressure. I have already replaced the oil pressure switch and the oil filter and oil. It made absolutely no difference. So, further inspection, we've taken the sump off. And just quickly, to get these two bolts out of the sump that come out right next to the gearbox, I do always use a snap-on ball socket 5mm hex. It must be the ball socket or it doesn't undo them nicely. Anyway, we've got the sump off. Uh, and it's not looking too pretty. First of all, we can see we've got old silicon that is falling about in there, and all that is broken down silicon. It's original, it's never been off. You can tell we've got the white sealant, and there's a little bit too much there from the factory. I put a little bit less on, but uh, yeah, it's definitely the reason we've got low oil pressure. If we look at the oil pickup pipe, check that out, absolutely clogged solid. Um, if I put a torch through here, I wonder if this will work. We can see absolutely no light at all. Um, yeah, definitely the root of the problem. We've got no bits of metal in there, so all is well. I'm going to clean this thoroughly. I'm going to clean the oil pickup pipe thoroughly. I'm going to take this windage tray off that's crudely only held on with one bolt from the factory. I'm going to clean all in there. I'm going to clean... I'm going to clean everything I can reach because it's just a bit black and minging in there. Uh, clean it all up and then put it back together and hopefully we've solved the issue. Oil pump looks to be okay. Can we see? Oil pump looks to be okay, but we're just going to try it with the sump back on, all cleaned out and see how it is. I will put a gauge on it to chest, check the oil pressure properly. Uh, yeah, we've definitely got to the root of it. And as I said, my BKD caddy, I'd probably be whipping the sump off to make sure there's nothing in there, or at least clean it out, because, uh, yeah, that hasn't had the sump off, and I think it is a common issue. Seen lots of posts about it on the internet with not many conclusions, not any really. So, uh, yeah, just my little take on what's going on. That looks a lot nicer. Just quickly, you can see the light through the oil pickup pipe really nicely now, absolutely clear. That took a while to clean out. Uh, yeah, it did take a while. I ended up using a mixture of brake fluid and uh, traffic film, truck wash, TFR remover, whatever you call it. And the sump, I ended up having to use a scotch pad and some warm truck wash. Lots of rinsing, lots of cleaning. It's come up really nice. There's absolutely nothing in there now. And after my first thought, it being silicon that had broken down and clogged up the gauze, I now believe it to just be the black carbon because the black, the black carbon was so thick in the sump, if you ended up scraping it off, it was literally really thick. And that is because of lack of oil changes. Um, yeah, I think it was just a case of poor oil changes. Carbon had built up and carbon had blocked up the oil pickup pipe. Cleaned up under there, cleaned all the oil pump. Well, it's still dribbling down, there's still oil in it. It drips for days. Cleaned all the windage tray, cleaned as far as I could get, made sure I got all the mastic off the bottom of the block. Now it's time to put the sump back on. I have already masticed up the sump. I use a Durco HT, very good stuff, the easy applicator. You can get a really nice thin bead. I would say that's about four or five mil that bead. When putting these sumps on, I like to get a bolt ready at the front, a bolt ready at the back, lightly do up two bolts, then I go around sticking all the rest of the bolts in. I leave these two bolts to last, the hard ones. I finger tight all the bolts up, get all the bolts in first. Then we get these end two that are a bit hard to do. And when it comes to putting back together, you do have to put the Allen key bit like that. Because if you've got your Allen key straight on it how you should have it, your bolt's going to go in cross-threaded. You have to have it at a skew-with angle. That's why I put all the bolts in, lightly do them up get these two in, do the rest up. Oh, and I did notice the oil return pipe was leaking out of the braided part. I've got loads of spares, so I stuck it on. Enough chit chat, let's get the pickup pipe and the sump back on. 
I do let this go off overnight, so I'll have to just hang fire till tomorrow before putting oil in it, and we'll see how it works tomorrow. Sump is all fitted, fresh 540 PD oil, no leaks, no oil pressure warning light, happy days, put a gauge on it, we've got full oil pressure, so we caught it just in time before any damage was done to the engine. Luckily it was turned off soon as it started beeping, happy days. I can confirm that that was 100% fix, oil pickup pipe slowly blocking up, low oil pressure, fixed. Right, next problem. That is the turbo and that is furthest away from the oil pump. After a few minutes of it running, I noticed a bit of smoke, had my suspicions, taken the downpipe off and found a problem. Now, even though we've saved the engine and we've caught it in time, the turbo hasn't fared up so well. They spin at an extremely high rate and with any signs of a lower oil pressure, these are first to be starved. And this one has completely snapped in half. So yes, we've managed to save the engine. Happy days. We do need a replacement turbo. Not the end of the world. A lot cheaper than replacing the engine. Yeah, if you followed this, you fixed your oil pressure, but you've got lots of smoke, it's probably gonna be your turbo. Anyway, as I mentioned, I do have a caddy with uh, a BKD in. Anyone curious to see what the sump's like in that? Let's have a look. It's the same day, I was super curious because I love this motor, I love my engine, and yeah, I couldn't wait. Anyway, so on the ramp and sump is off. Obviously it's black in there, but all diesels, turbo diesels, after a certain amount of miles, all sumps are going to look like that. But there isn't half as much carbon in there, that's just oil, and there's no floaty bits, there's no bits of silicon, and most importantly, there is light in the tunnel. There is a tiny bit that was starting to build up, but uh, yeah, happy, happy it's not all choked up. It, maybe it's not just a common problem then that happens to all of them, because I know some motors, it is a common problem, and this is almost a service item. Um, but yeah, happy days, gonna clean this up, clean my pickup pipe up, and stick it back on. I would obviously have never have known if I hadn't taken the sump off, so now I know, taking it off, this one's clean regular oil filter changes even if you only do the oil and filter do that once a year and then do the rest of the filters the other year so fuel filter air filter maybe you can stretch them a couple of years depending on how many miles you got but at least do your oil filter and oil every 10,000 miles or once a year minimum and you won't have any carbon build up and no blocked pickup pipe no blown turbo no knackered engine if you've got any comments questions concerns drop me a comment down below. Whether the video is a day old or a year old, I still reply to all of them. If you found the video useful, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.